Here's question 1a part 5. So the question is about um, the United States and Britain and about when they've hosted the games. And they we want to know is do the countries perform better when they host the games? And we need to have evidence to back this up. So when we're talking about time series data, we always want to refer back to the trend. So let's look at the trend line for the United States. Here's our trend line. Now let's have a look at when they have hosted the Olympics. So in 1904 they hosted the Olympics and if we go up to the data value there um, we can see that's quite a high value, a lot more medals um, in that particular year when they hosted. There's another year here in 1932 when US hosted them and you can see that value is a little bit above, the, it's above the trend line not a massive peak like in 1904, but it is still above the trend line. Um, then we've got in 1984, and if we follow that up, we can see there's another reasonable peak there um, where they have hosted the games. And then again in 1996 they hosted, and we can see in that year the data is pretty much on the trend line. Um, so if we've got two strong peaks, one, uh, three peaks that are above the trend line and one that's on the trend line. So that's giving us some evidence that maybe for the United States that they may tend to perform better when um, they are hosting and that's what we want to write up. So we want to say well in 1904 it was a very large peak, 1932 a smaller peak, 84 a large peak and 96 around the average. So that means three of our four data values are higher than we expected. They're above the trend line. So overall they do tend, notice that word tend, to do better when they're hosting. Okay, so that's um, the United States. Now let's have a look at Great Britain. Um, and we can see there um, Great Britain hosted in 1908. Um, they also hosted in 1984 um, and they've hosted again in 2012 in London. So we've got three different values there and I should have done this first was putting that trend line in but I'll put it in last, it's okay. And so we can see from our values one value, very clear spike in 1908, significantly above the trend line. 1948 is around about on the trend line. In 2012, it's above the trend line, not massively above, but above. So two out of our three data values are showing above the trend line. So that's what we want to write up about. 1908, large peak, 1948, around the trend. In 2012, I've written a large peak, but really I'd probably call that a, a moderate peak. So overall, two of our three data values are higher than expected. So an overall, a country in this case Great Britain does tend to do better when they're hosting but sometimes only a little bit better. So in conclusion both Great Britain and the US data show that a country tends to win more when they host. Okay we haven't got overwhelming data that overwhelming evidence we've only got seven data values to prove that um, and from the seven in total five of them are above the trend. So how does the marking for this go? Well one valid comment gets you an, an, an R, a merit level. If you've commented on both the US and Great Britain and you have justified whether um, the host country performs better, then that gets you a T, which is our excellence.